Hey, hey. Welcome to a series I'm calling Tales from the Ham Barn, where I go through my collection and show off what's in it. For our first episode, I pulled out a box of blisters. And this is a variety of stuff from Rogue Trader and from 2nd Edition. Here we've got a blister of Mad Boys, which came... Looks like three in here, and it comes with two sprues, arms and weapons. And this would have been made... It says copyright 1988. It's early. Here's a couple more Mad Boys. This is a later blister. This is from 2nd edition. Repackaged with newer, newer guns. Oh, here is a Bad Moon Boss. And this is the area that came with a familiar or a squig in every single blister, which when I was 13, I thought was the coolest thing. Snake Bite Boss. This is one of the snake bites that did not have a back banner, um, but he's got a really cool wolf head and he's got a little snotling with him. What do we have here? This is more Mad Boys. This is another early blister. It's got three of them. I actually have uh, the entire range of Mad Boys that one day I hope to paint up. This is another snake bite boss. This is a duplicate with a different snotling. Um, these blisters that I have here, the blue ones, these are earlier second edition. These would have been put out in like 93, 94. Um, I don't actually know when they transitioned to the later ones. Um, but here we have a pair of snake bite knobs. These boys actually do have the back banners, um, which of course you have to print and cut out and color yourself, which was, you know, a lot for when you're 13. Ah, it's a blister of Zodgrad Wartsnaga, the original um runt herder who back in second edition you can get super gretchen which you know we're still gretchen and not great this is another snake bite boss this is i think the fourth one i've seen i should probably sell some of these uh this is a blister snake bite boys which is open and had some bits fall out more snake bite boys oh here's a orc with a heavy bolter yes back in the day orcs had bolters just like everybody else this is a blister of the snake of the space orc dreadnought. This is the later package, so it's got long legs. It's got the extra center section, so it have four arms. Um, back in Rogue Trader, you could get it as a short version with just two arms, um, as either that kit and then an expansion kit. This is a Stormboy Captain. He's got his jetpack in here. Space orc free Buddha. Interestingly, I forgot that the Freebooters actually came with familiars as well, kind of like the knobs. This is the really cool guy. It's got like a uh, a squig hat that's sort of like the Attila Rough Riders with a big unicorn spike out at the top. Here we've got a Splatacan, which is probably one of the best pieces of field artillery, aesthetics-wise. Uh, hilarious rules in second edition where you'd fire the shell and then it would go bouncing around the battlefield until it, until it exploded. Ooh, this is, I was going to say, this is a cool one. This is a blister of a snake bite, or sorry, a weird boy. And it's two minders holding the weird boy up. Um, so you just add the arms on both sides of the weird boy, or on the minders. It's a very cool blister. Here we got a space orc with a multi melter. It's always a bit of a weird sculpt, didn't really fit with the rest of them. This is a death skull combi Desco Ludo with a combi weapon. Um, love these guys. Let's see. This is a Rogue Trader blister. This is a Dreadnought. And this actually is a nice juxtaposition with the other one that I have. So this one only has two body sections and a hatch. Well, this has all three body sections. So this has, you know, this has the tall legs. But this has one weapon mount and one weapon and one arm, whereas this one has two arms, two weapon mounts, and all three all three body sections. So kind of cool to see those next to each other. Oh, moving on from orcs, at least for now, we've got an Imperial Confessor Kirinov. This is a late second edition um, offering that came out with Sisters of Battle. So around like 97. Also around this time period, they moved to this later um, packaging. You can see that this is late second edition and then third edition with the new logo. 
these are packages of spaceable thralls, even though they are just uh, servitors, which is actually kind of funny. Uh, here's another blister of them. This is a made-to-order package of Imperial Guard tank commanders. This would have been done in the mid-2000s or so. Same thing with the Missionary with the Chainsword. Wonderful um, repressing of that that came out with Sisters of Battle. This is an early blister from 2nd edition. This is really early, actually. Um, this is 93. Um, you can tell by the logo up here. And also, this is one of the uh, old tech priests that kind of came with the Servitor. And another Dreadnought. This is the armor expansion. So this is just short legs, uh, extra weapon, extra arm, and another pilot. Uh, here we got Blister of Ogrens with Ripper Guns. This would have been the second edition blister. Here we've got, ah, Stormtroopers with Heavy Bolter, back when they could take heavy weapons in their squads. Uh, blister of Attila Rough Riders. Another blister of them. I think we got a bunch of these. That's three, four. This is a standard bear for it, which is pretty cool. And that's another one. That's six. Back to orcs. We got a dust all with a combi weapon. Another one. This is a late reprinting of the Goth Rock Band. Um, I'll get around to painting those one day. What do we get here? Another heavy bolter. Here we've got an Eldar Distortion Cannon. This is a Rogue Trader era. Uh, I can tell by they had the art blisters back then. Uh, it's got a copyright 89 on it. The awesome two color printing on the back. The very rudimentary how to, you know, assemble your model. Just stick it in the base. Um, Imperial Thud Gun in Blister. This came with two servitors. Um, I have one of these painted. I used it as a Space Marine, the Space Marine Field Artillery back when that was a thing. Uh, Snake Bart Boar Boys. I have a feeling we're gonna get into a row of them. Yep, there's another one. Here's another one in an early blister. Um, yep, that's four. And there's five. Ooh, a uh, Stormtrooper with a Meltagon. This is the cool era with the berets and the backpacks. Empty Space Rock Blister, you know, something good to keep in a box. This is a blister of just uh, orc combat weapons. So axes, chainsword, pistols. Um, some of these weapons at the time could have passed for Imperial weapons. I know that in the codexes, they used um, some of these on Chaos Marines and they fit really, really, really well. Here we've got a blister of a boar boy, uh, another boar boy. We've got two more, four more. We're not gonna pull them all out, but. I will say though, this era blister was kind of cool because it had, you know, your really 80s heavy metal, um, Crux Terminatus on it for everything and whatnot, even though this is from 95. Uh, this is a blister that's falling apart, but this is a pair of mech boys. Um, some really cool sculpts. You got, you know, a guy with a big set of tongs and this guy with some comedy weapon. This is a blister of Death Skulls, I think. Looks like it. Guy's got his, or maybe just Orc Boys, but I always thought he was in Death Skull with the uh, skull on his head and whatnot. It was cool from this era because each blister, the back of it, had, you know, your custom art on the front, and the back is also custom, so, you know. Another snake by Boar Boy. Yet another one. I have a lot of them. This is another Rough Rider. Getting to the end of the box. Another blister of close combat weapons. Here we have a late print of the Sisters of Battle Celestine, the Living Saint. Um, believe it or not, I do have enough to make an army of them. 
And then, very random, blister from Necromunda. It's a pack of weapons. So this is two sprues of metal weapons that they put out, and then your Space Marine close combat sprue as well. So, now. So anyway, that's this big old block, box of blisters. Um, I've got more of these to go through, and I've got tons of other stuff that I'll go through. So, hope you enjoyed this. Give, leave me some comments if you want to see specific stuff or want me to focus on something different or something else. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.